Guys, how we doing? Welcome to GoodWorks Tractors. Today we're going to go over a couple of ballast boxes here. Ballast boxes are probably the cheapest form of ballast weight or counterweight that you can put on your tractor. There's really not a lot of ballast box solutions that are on the market. On this side over here is going to be the John Deere iMatch version of the ballast box, and then over here is going to be the Titan ballast box. The John Deere ballast box is, of course, only going to be available in green. However, this uh, Titan ballast box right here is going to be available in both green and black as well. I'm asked all the time, what ballast box do I recommend? I'm going to let you know what one that is, and price has nothing to do with it. So my channel, Good Works Tractors, is really all about educating customers, educating first-time tractor owners, and maybe you've had a tractor for your whole life, who knows? But the point is, things like a ballast box right here is important, and I harp on it. I've done other videos on different forms of ballast weight, combinations of ballast weight, prices of ballast weight on a, on a cost per pound basis. So this is a deeper dive into just the ballast box solution itself because it is so economical and practical for a lot of us. The last thing you want to do is be on your tractor, lift your front end loader up, realize you don't have enough weight on that backside. Tractor accidents are a real problem. Rollovers happen every year all over the place and I guarantee you all those folks thought nothing was going to happen until it was too late. So don't take this lightly. So both of the ballast boxes that you see right here are category one three-point hitch compatible. They're also going to be quick hitch compatible as well. The John Deere iMatch ballast box over here is typically only found either in a John Deere online store or at your John Deere dealer. I will post a link down below on where you can buy this Titan ballast box. It'll ship right to your house and pretty much all the time they have free shipping as well, which is quite a bonus. You might say to yourself, these are just a couple of green hunks of steel. They look pretty darn similar. I'm going to show you the differences. You see this John Deere ballast box right here? All right, we've seen everything we need to see. Let's take a look at this one now. We've seen everything we need to see. So I hate the fact that that's all that is over there in the John Deere. I like something that can at least be somewhat versatile and not just a piece of dead weight hanging off the back of the tractor. You don't see a completely flat surface here. You're going to see a few things going on. Number one, you do have a trap door. So if you don't use concrete to fill up your ballast box, say you use stone or sand, something along those lines, you want to empty it out, just lift up the trap door. It's a lot easier to do that way. Now I'm sure you guys notice this two inch receiver hanging out down there too. That's a really nice feature to have, allows you to at least hook up a trailer or some other type of attachment to it while you have the ballast box on. That's going to open up versatility. The last thing you're going to notice right down here are a couple of fork slots. Now of course if you lift this up with it full of material inside there that's going to be quite heavy and this is supposed to be on the back side of your tractor so I'd really recommend just using these fork slots if you have it emptied out first and just want to move it from point A to point B for storage purposes. Well, I've got this broom and this squeegee here, but I'll tell you what, I think it highlights the, the exact point here in the benefit. You have some tool storage that's built into the Titan ballast box as well, so for shovels, rakes, whatever else you can think of. It's just nice to have something that's different besides just a plain old ballast box. The max weight that both of these ballast boxes can hold is relatively similar to one another. This one over here is 780 pounds. This one here is about 800 pounds. We're just talking relatively round numbers here. So 20 pounds here or there isn't going to make or break anything. Now that number is going to be achieved by using concrete in either one of these ballast boxes. So I got this John Deere ballast box here a long time ago, filled with concrete already. For my 4066R that I uh, used to use it on, I wanted to add more weight on top of that, and so I would use a lot of these suitcase weights. So these do fit in here, really nice. I'm not sure, maybe it just worked out that way uh, with the amount of concrete that the gentleman who owned this had put in there. But you can also, if you want to, even hang some suitcase weights off the side rail which is kind of nice if you want to get some extra weight on there. However, that does defeat the purpose of being a cheap form of ballast weight because suitcase weights aren't cheap. So not that it's a big deal, but the lips over here on the Titan ballast box are quite a bit wider, so you could not put suitcase weights over the edges like you can on the John Deere. So one thing I have seen online, I've never seen it in person, is going to be an extension. I think it's a 9-inch extension that you can put on just this ballast box here. I'm not exactly sure how it attaches, but the point being, you can fill it with more material than more concrete, sand, whatever it is, get some more ballast weight, get some more traction. I am all about providing the best values that are out there, and that's why I really do like this Titan Ballast Box. It's the best of what's available on the market right now for the price point, for the features of what you get. However, I think that we can do better and I'm going to come up with something that is better than this for a reasonable price point that gives you more versatility, that can just, you can do more stuff with it and just open that up and make it more than just a ballast box. So stay tuned for that in the future. So really quick, if you are thinking these other ballast box solutions are just a little bit inadequate for you, 
Well, then maybe you want to check out the big tool rack, okay? So this thing here mounts right on your three-point, okay? Quick hitch compatible again. Even hang suitcase weights right on here if you want to, but look at this, all sorts of tool storage. It's a garage organizer that you can take with you in the field as well. Put your tools right in here, got a chainsaw holder, hose holders, cubbies, cubbies galore, basically. You're gonna see I have this outfitted here with a tank sprayer as well. Just an add-on, you don't have to get that, but it's got a two inch receiver right down here. This door opens up. You can sit on it if you want to, okay? storage in here for firewood, all sorts of stuff. Take your tools in the field with you. That way you don't have to worry about hogging up your, um, your bucket with, with a shovel or anything else like that. So again, opposite end of the spectrum as a ballast box, but it's a very good solution for you if you're looking to kind of get more versatility out of your equipment. So big tool rack, you get 5% off with code GWT, big tool rack. Get this one, there's a smaller version. There's other accessories you can get as well for your tractor. Really good guys, made in the USA. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this deeper dive into a ballast box comparison here and seeing what might be the right solution for you. Again, there's going to be a link below on where you can buy this ballast box in green or in black. Quick hitch compatible, category one. So if I could ask a big favor, if you would give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and also hit that subscribe button, that would really help out the channel. Make sure you read through that description below. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.